Hi everyone, my name is Ihab al -Badawi. In this video, I'm going to present our research paper entitled Vogbench, a neurovocoder benchmark for speech senses. This work has been done in a collaboration with Antro, Chen, and Jialong from MedAI, Professor Shang from UAlbany, and Professor Liu from UBuffalo. The outline of this presentation is going to be as follows. We will log into the motivation of the problem, have a high-level overview of the Vogbench framework, look into the datasets and neurovocoders we have in our study, then we will look into the evaluation metrics and results, and finally, we will end with the conclusion and future work. A neurovocoder is a neural network that synthesizes waveform from low-dimensional representation, such as mental spectrograms. This often is used in most of the speech senses pipelines. For example, a possible text-to-speech pipeline will start with a text sequence that goes to a TTS model and then this will generate a ML spectrogram output. To get the waveform, the ML spectrogram has to go through a special type of neural network called vocoder that generates the waveform in the time domain. The problem we are having is that there are many options to choose from when it comes to neural vocoders. Each uses a different approach. To mention a few, there are neural vocoders that use autoregressive models, GAN models, and diffusion models. With each of these different approaches, there are different implementations of the neural vocoders. The different types of neural vocoders could differ in the quality of the inside speech, the speed of generation, the complexity of each model, and so on. This becomes a little bit overwhelming to choose between these different implementations for a specific project you might be working on. The objective of our work is to create a unified pipeline for training and testing different neural vocoders in a shared environment for fair comparison, and then get the evaluation scores for each of these vocoders. And here we introduce the VocBench framework. Let's have a high-level overview in terms of the pipeline. First, we start with three datasets we have, LG Speech, Liberty TS, and VZTK. Drawing a speech sample from each of these datasets, it will go through a feature extraction module. The feature extraction purpose is to generate a ML spectrogram sample from the waveform. Then we will choose from one of the vocoders we have in our framework. Currently, we have these six vocoders that we could possibly choose from. WaveNet and WaveRNN representing autoregressive models, MelGAN and better WaveGAN representing GAN models, and finally WaveGrad and DiffWave representing diffusion models. We designed the framework in a way that's easy to switch between these different vocoders. For example, let's assume we will use WaveRNN. The WaveRNN vocoder will take the feature extraction output, which is the ML spectrogram sample, and try to synthesize the waveform in the time domain. Then, this waveform will go to the evaluation module that will generate different scores for this specific vocoder. This framework is designed in a modular approach, which means that it's easy to change any of these components without affecting the other ones, as long as you keep the expected input and output the same. For example, if you have another implementation of your own vocoder, you can easily integrate that into the Fogbench framework and have the same training and testing pipeline. Let's look into more details for each of these modules. First, starting with the datasets, we use three different datasets. LG Speech, if a single speaker dataset contains more than 13k samples, and in total it has 24 hours of recordings. In terms of complexity, this dataset represents the sample case. By sample, I mean it's a single speaker dataset, which makes it relatively easy to train and test each of the neural vocoders to synthesize a speech sample. Moving to a little bit more challenging dataset, which is Liberty TS, it's a multi speaker dataset that contains over 1000 speakers. Each of the trained deaf test splits has a unique set of speakers, which makes it a little bit more challenging compared to ultra speech. It totally has more than 300k of speech samples that sum up to 585 hours of recordings. The third dataset we have is VCTK. In terms of complexity, it lies between LG speech and Liberty DS, as it has 110 speakers. Each of those speakers, they have 400 samples and about 44 hours of recordings. Next, the neural vocoders we have in our study. As we have seen previously, we use three different categories of neural vocoders, autoregressive, CAN, and diffusion models. Each of these categories uses a different approach to synthesize the speech sample. For example, the autoregressive models work as a probabilistic model that predicts the probability of each waveform sample based on the previous samples. This allows to generate a high quality and natural speech signal. However, 
due to the sample by sample generation process. The overall since the speed is slow compared to other methods. For this category, we consider two main autoregressive models, WaveNet and WaveRNN. The second category we have in our study is GAN based neural vocoders. This approach utilizes the main idea of GANs, which uses a generator conditioned on a mouse spectrogram input to model the waveform signal. Then the discriminator is used to assess the quality of the generated speech. Please note that this is a very high level of how GAN based vocoders work. Different variants of this approach contain more details in terms of the neural network architecture design. For this category, we use two main different implementations, MELGAN and BearWaveGAN. The third category we have is diffusion-based neural vocoders. Diffusion probabilistic models are another class of generative models that involves two main processes, the diffusion process and the reverse process. The diffusion process is defined as a Markov chain process that gradually adds Gaussian noise to the original signal until it gets destroyed. The reverse process, on the other hand, is a denoising process that progressively removes the added Gaussian noise and restores the original signal. We included two diffusion-based vocoders in our study, WaveGrad and DiffWave. To evaluate each of these neural vocoders, we use different set of metrics. The first metric we use is mean opinion score, or MOS. Mean opinion score is a subjective evaluation metric that assess the quality of the site speech samples. In our most study, we have 400 participants. Each rates the quality of each sample between one and five, where one is bad and five is excellent. And we report the most for each vocoder and the ground truths over 20 test samples. The second metric we use is ratio audio distance or FAD. FAD is an objective evaluation metric for quality measurement. It uses the distance between two multivariate Gaussian distributions to compute the FAD score. In our case, the ground truth and the evaluation embeddings are the two multivariate Gaussians. Each of these feature embeddings are generated using the VGG model trained on a large YouTube dataset as an audio classifier. The third set of metrics we have are Structural Similarity Index Measure, SSIM, Log Mail Spectrogram Mean Squared Error, LSMSE, and Peak Signal to Noise Ratio, or PSNR. These set of metrics are quantitative evaluation metrics that are mainly used for similarity and noise measurement. All of the computations in each of these metrics are done in the frequency domain to compare the synthesized mouse spectrogram with the ground truth. This table summarizes the results for each of these metrics. There are two observations that we would like to point out here. First, the SSIM, LSMSE, and BSNR are mainly focusing on the noise and similarity measurement. Such measurement does not necessarily correlate with the quality of the generated speech sample. For example, based on these metrics, we find MELGAN is the best performing model compared to other vocoders. However, looking into the most results, we see a different story. There are a different set of best performing neural vocoders in each of the three datasets, and MELGAN is not one of them anymore. The second observation we have is that FAD tends to correlate to some extent with most results, especially for GAN based vocoders. For instance, the best performing vocoder from FAD respective are WaveNet and BearWaveGAN. Looking into most results, we see WaveNet, BearWaveGAN, and DiffWave. Even though post metrics have different results for edge speech dataset, BearWaveGAN still has the second best most results. It's also important to mention that diffusion-based vocoders tends to have a relatively high FAD score, which suggests that it has a low quality. However, it's not the same with most results. We also report the complexity of each of these vocoders in terms of the number of parameters, falling point operations, and the real-time factor in the GPU and CPU setup. We exclude the real-time computation for the autoregressive models as they are significantly slower compared to other vocoders. In conclusion, VocBench is a framework for a general purpose benchmark of neural vocoders of the speech sense task. It uses a unified pipeline for training and testing. And also, we include both objective and subjective evaluation metrics to assess each of these neural vocoders. We open source our framework on the following GitHub repository. Please feel free to contribute and suggest any changes you see necessary. Thank you, and we are looking forward to your contribution.